right, so I wanted to make a video on shifting here. So right now I'm in third gear, coming, going to turn right, so I pull in the clutch, throw her back in first, and let out the clutch, give it some gas. Now, I'm, obviously it's in high rev, so upshift that shit. Come and do another stop, so pull in the clutch, back down to first. <clears throat> and I should be using my blinker, but nah. Alrighty, so if you want to, you can literally take it all the way up to, uh, what is that, 12.5 where the red line is. But, I mean, you don't really want to do that all the time because it's kind of obnoxious and loud. So, basically what you're doing when you're shifting is you are trying to match the engine speed with the wheel speed. And so I'm in fourth right now. And so we are going to be turning right, I believe. So pull in the clutch, start braking, downshift it back into first. And keep braking, hold in the clutch. And nobody's coming, so let her out. And so I'm in first right now, upshift that to second, up to third. And now I'm at just shy of 8,000 RPMs and I don't want to cruise that at that high of a revolution or uh, RPMs so now I'm in fourth I'm gonna throw in fifth so now I'm at about six which seems like a pretty good cruising RPMs to me although actually I accelerated some more so now I'm in sixth and I'm at 5,500 RPMs Please see me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me! So, I mean, once you're in six, there's not a lot more you need to do unless you need to slow down or something, in which case you would obviously downshift, but... Cruising in six, going the same speed, don't really need to shift. It's chilly though. Now if I want to, just first hits and giggles, I can downshift. Now I'm in fifth, in rev match, so fourth, and just for shits and giggles, back down to third. You see, it gets really jerky when it's at this high of a RPMs, which is 10, so fourth, fifth, and here's sixth again. Now, if you're racing, you know, you might want it up at that high of an RPMs, because that's, well, actually, I'm, this is only my second time riding this bike, so I don't really know the power band that much, but on most inline fours, the power band is way up towards the top of the rev range, so you might want to do it in that case, but if you're not racing, you're just cruising, you're just putting more stress on the engine, really, using more gas, so not much point to it in my opinion unless you're you know about to pass it's a pretty comfortable little bike though now we're slowing down so fourth third why don't you pull out in front of me guy I think we're turning right here So there's a stop sign, pulling the clutch in third still, back down to second, first, oh, this is actually yield. So up to second, and third, just because I don't need most of the power right now. <clears throat> Fast forward this fucking song. And coming to a stop, pulling the clutch in third still, back down to second, and Go neutral for now, so I don't have to hold in the clutch. <clears throat> no, 
front screen. Throw that bitch in first. And I'll throw it up in second. Third. And now uh, there's another stop sign. Oh, or uh, stop light. So I don't want to accelerate from almost to stop in third gear. So back down to first, which is actually a little high. So second. And third. Although something I was very pleasantly surprised by is this little R3 actually has a gear indicator, which, I mean, it's so handy. You don't have to constantly remember which gear you're in. Which, I mean, you know, if you can do that, more power to you. But generally, my mind is on to other things, especially now that I'm blessed with a gear indicator on my bike in the past, well, this one I'm riding now on my bike, so, I don't know, it's really handy. Oh, I'm in fifth gear, by the way. Going 44. RPMs are above 6,000, which I don't feel like dealing with, so up to 6. It's a very comfortable little bike, though. Definitely gets the Jordan seal of approval. So, show. And stop sign, so a rake. Pulling the clutch, still in sixth, all the way down to first. <clears throat> now, with some bikes, you can accelerate from a stop in second, but I just prefer not to, so I don't. stoplight so I am in fifth right now could downshift right now but I'm gonna let the engine brake for me and I'll just rev match so now I'm in second which is gonna obviously engine brake a lot for me so back down to first because we're about to go and first second third. Oh, by the way, this uh, video is assuming that you already know the basic functions and where they are. Obviously, that's the clutch and the gear shift lever is down there. I don't know if I put the camera down enough to where you can see it. But. I think the the most questions I get are about like when to shift and why to shift. So I figured I would kind of it's, it's kind of hard to explain if you're not on a motorcycle. So you notice I didn't come to a complete stop there, so I left it in second. Move back up to third. So it's it's much easier to show you than explain it when you're not near a bike and you're just at a stop, you know, because for different things, there's, or uh, different situations, there's different times to shift. I'm in fifth right now, by the way. That's cruising. Now, see, if I wanted to accelerate kind of hard, I'd probably 
downshift into the fourth so I can access more of the power. But I'm obviously not trying to accelerate right now, so back into fifth for me. Listen to that song either. Should probably look like I'm at least trying here in front of the cop. Well, I kind of doubt he would chase me. So coming to a stop in fourth, down to first. Are we turning? Thank you, sir. Whoop, missed a shift there, that was neutral. Here's second, third, fourth. <laughs> oh, a lot of these Harley dudes don't wave to me. I mean, then again, they don't really wave to me on my R1 either, so. Guess that doesn't come as a total shocker. And plus, I'm not even waving to them, so that could be why. Who knows? Alright, so I'm in fifth right now, and now that we've slowed down, well, I'm at a little bit low of RPMs for this engine, so I'm going to match into fourth, third. Now we're back up to speed, third is a little bit low, so back into fourth, which I could leave it in, I also could upshift to fifth, it's pretty much up to you. That's what's actually nice about manual transmissions. If I were in an automatic, it probably would have upshifted me to the highest gear. Oh, didn't need to go in first, but oh, whatever. Give you a wave. so abnormal to me to have these mirrors. And there's going to be a lot of cruising on this road, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I think I've given you quite a few examples and uh, my opinions on them. Bear in mind, these are my opinions. If you're talking to somebody else, you might get a completely different answer. You have a lot of control when you're controlling your own transmission. That was somewhat redundant, but whatever. Alright, well, check you guys later. Maybe.